Hey, it's Kaiser, also known as Sky. I love scoring movies, and I finally caught up. We are finally here, halfway through. It's well, nearly halfway through. Tomorrow will be halfway through. Day 15 of 31 Days of Favourite Movies Challenge. And boy, have I got a good one for you. And it's the 1984 movie Angel. And no, it's not what you think. It's when you read it, when I tell you the re- tell you in my way about the film, then you'll understand why. Um, it stars Cliff Gorman, Susan Terrell, Dick Sean, Cordy Calhoun, and Donna Wilkes as Angel. Also starring Don Dickel, Elaine Giftos. And directed by Rob Vincent O'Neill. Movie starts out at looking at all the apartments and houses. Then there's cars and buses coming down the road and then it comes to a house. Then a girl comes out of the school, I mean out of the house, sorry, with school, school books in hand and starts to run off to school and walks past the Stars Walk of Fame. And a couple say hi to Angel as they're cleaning the stars on the Walk of Fame and says hi back to her. Then Angel checks herself and gets on the school bus, drives off. Angel sits alone on the bus, on the bus and sees a group of people whispering and joking about Then Angel looks out the window as the bus drives by and then turns left and drives to the school. All of the pupils get off the bus, including Angel, and walk into school and walk down the steps. The teacher gives homework about King Lear. Then Angel gets approached by a boy who asks her out but declines the offer. Back at home, Angel sits at the mirror and puts makeup on her face. And then night time approaches and people are walking around and Angel is on the streets and approaches some and rejects his offer and walks off then eventually gets out of the car and Angel and her friend get some ice cream. Then a cop and his friend talk on the street and Angel walks past them. Then a guy is doing sit-ups and looks out of his window. Then at a coffee house, they're all drinking coffee and talking about the Walk of Fame, and then all the girls all talk about the livelihood. And then the boss kicks out a customer, and then the girls leave and walk down the road. One girl talks to the guy, and then the guy shows the girl his new trick and gives her his gift and leaves. Then finds a guy and walks to a motel and puts his hand to her mouth, stabs her and suffocates her. Then Angel and her friends walk Angel home. Then at a motel room, a guy is lying beside the dead girl, kisses her and pulls pulls the cover down and has sex with her dead body. Then Angel and her friends arrive home and talk to another lady and Angel is going to study before she sleeps. Angel reads a card and looks at photos and smiles. Then the next day, Angel gives her food to another gives her food to another room and gives her rent to Sally and Sally leaves. Meanwhile, the killer is back in his room and drinks an egg and eats the shell and kisses his mum's picture. At school, Angel eats ice cream and a boy walks towards Angel and asks Angel out and she declines, then goes and sees the teacher and the teacher gives Angel a phone number and Angel then goes Meanwhile, at the motel, the police find the girl's body and a boy sobs his heart out as they found her all messed up. Then Angel gets told about the death and heads over and gives the police a piece of her mind. And the police give them a card if they need them to to call them. It's night time and Angel talks to her friend. Then Angel's friend is with the killer. Then Angel is doing her studies 
Then Angel picks up a client and goes to their motel room and the guy goes to the bathroom, sees something and runs out screaming and drives off. Then Angel checks his for herself and sobs her heart out. Then the killer scrubs himself off. Angel gets questioned by the police and she tries to tell the police all that she knows and the police give her a glass of water and asks does she have a pimp and she doesn't tell him anything and shouts at the officer and then the police shout at her even more. Then Angel gets dropped off by the police and tells May that Luna's dead. So they walk Angel home. The next day, Angel and everyone go to the coffee house and the lawyer tells Kit that he's going to a retirement home but he won't have none of it. Then Angel talks to them about going to the mall for Lana and then she goes to the police station where they shout at Angel and Angel shouts back. Then the next day, Angel gets on the school bus and the police sees her get on it and follows the bus and Angel got upset at school. Angel shuts the locker on the boy. Then, at the changing rooms, a girl forgets her pom-poms and Angel shouts for her, but no one answers. It's night time and the killer starts to train and is on the lookout for a hooker and goes to a live set show. Then Angel is back on the street again and the police arrest the killer and is put on the line and Angel identifies the killer who then goes on the loose and the police chase after them but the killer runs away then Angel gets dropped off home and looks at the police man and they talk in the car and drops Angel off home and then goes mad as the police demands to speak to her mum and knocks but there's no answer and goes in the room and it's empty as her mum isn't there and then goes to Angel's room and asks Angel where her mum is and shows him a letter from her mum telling her that her mum left her from the age of 12 and says that her dad will come back for her but the police officer tells her to lock the door and not to go out so on the streets and leaves the killer to stop and leaves. The killer starts to cut his hair off and Angel goes back out on the streets again defying the police officer's orders. Meanwhile, the killer shaves his head off and Angel meets May and gets a gun and then goes to the church and like don't, like gives money to donate to the church and walks off. Then Kit shows Angel his new home and gives her a shooting lesson and he starts to shoot and Angel is impressed and she shows him her gun and Angel goes back out on the street and her school friends drag her into the car and then Angel points her gun at them and the boys leave the car and Angel walks off and the girls in school are talking about her then the teacher goes to her locker and opens her locker and finds her gun then Angel runs out of the school and goes to the police nowhere else to go and she tells the police about her life and then they both talk some more and she hugs the police officer and sobs her heart out then the apartment owner plays cards and she starts to sheet, cheat then the teacher comes to Angel's place and ring the bell and the landlady asks what does she want and the teacher threatens her for the key and goes to the room and talks to what is supposed to be Angel's mum, but it turns out it's it's not Angel's mum, it's May, and starts to talk. Then a so-called monk sneaks about, but it's actually the killer. Going up the stairs, then the teacher leaves, and May closes the door as the teacher goes back downstairs. Then another police officer gets, gets stabbed. Then the killer goes to Angel's place, and May and the killer start to fight and they both scramble for the knife and May gets stabbed. <coughs> <coughs> then the landlady talks to May as she passes away and the landlady starts to scream. Then the policeman brings Angel home and her place is a mess and the policeman goes to check on May. Then Angel runs away with the gun and goes to the streets. 
and looked for the killer. The policeman and Kit go looking for her, or looking for Angel, and the killer is in disguise and goes after Angel. Everyone is still looking for Angel, then someone shouts at Angel. Someone shouts and Angel starts shooting at the killer, and Angel runs after him. Angel shoots again and misses, then the killer shoots Kit, and the police shoot the killer, and Angel does as well. Then Angel keeps on running after the killer and walks on ignoring everyone and finds the killer and Kit and Kit shoots the killer and the killer dies. Then Angel, Kit and the policeman walk away. So <laughs> at day fifteen sorted out, um thought on this. Uh I I actually liked it for most of it and it's it was different and but it's got one of them stories to it where basically like she didn't want to she didn't want to be a prostitute but she needed to, she had to be a prostitute to survive and she's only done it because her mum wasn't around and her dad wasn't around so she's had to fend for herself and this was the only way she could fend for herself so. I enjoyed it for what it's worth. It's it's and it's a real title as well. So please, please, please get your hands on it, watch it, and let me know your thoughts. Um, but overall, on this film, it's 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 good. I haven't seen. I think th- this has got a trilogy to it. So I've only seen the first one. I haven't seen the other two. But for this been for its time it was how can you explain it I just enjoyed the whole story to the film basically it's got like action a bit of excitement there was some blood and a few murders and then you've got that when she talks about her past and her parents and that which is great and you've got it was it was just a nice little touch where she walked past the Walk of Fame as well and she talked about the Walk of Fame as well, so that's a nice good element to it. So rating eight out of ten. So there you go. Right. I'm gonna head off <laughs> and I will definitely see you all soon. Stay gory, have unpleasant dreams and see you all soon. Ta ta for now, bye.